top YouTube marketing tips to increase sales in 2020. Hey there everyone! When your objective is to drive sales and generate profits, you have to go above and beyond the strategies that you would normally use to simply increase traffic and boost awareness. And that's where YouTube Business Made Easy comes in. Yet you can't underestimate the power of applying proven YouTube marketing tactics when it comes to increasing your chances of driving more sales simply by pushing the right buttons. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the best YouTube marketing tips that will help you to increase sales in 2020. Create short videos. We have talked about the importance of creating videos that promote lengthier watch times. These are videos that are on average between 6 to 25 minutes long, and the intention is to boost retention. But it so happens that the contrary can work as well, if not better in some instances. That's why it is important to include short videos into your mix. Videos that last less than 2 minutes can generate over 50% of your views, and they're more effective to deliver your message to certain leads at certain stages of your sales funnel. While a single short video won't help you to drive an immediate sale or to show more than one ad, adding several short videos to your channel can help you to increase watch times because more people will be able to watch your videos in short bursts. This will also help you to capture attention and increase consideration of people short on time, such as people at their jobs. These people are more likely to make urgent decisions, and if you create a video series to showcase your products, then you're more likely to drive a sale from those prospects. Brand your channel. The look of your channel has to match your vision and the way that you want your audience to perceive your products. You have to think of your channel as an extension of your overall online presence or as another page on your business website. This means that every element of your channel has to be customized in a way that is recognizable for people who have visited your other channels, such as your website and your social media profiles. This means that you have to use the same logo that you use on your other channels as your channel icon, to use your header images as your channel cover, and to match the colors and design of cards and CTAs in your channel and videos with the design on your website. Be consistent. A primary marketing strategy is to be consistent with content. This means that you have to publish content at the right time and when your audience expects it. The starting point is to establish a content schedule. You can, for example, study when your viewers are more active, and at what times, and on which days you get the most views, and to publish your videos at those times. You can look at the analytics section of your channel to get this information. You can then plan a content schedule based on those results. For example, if you get peak views and engagements on Tuesdays at 8 p.m., then you have to upload your videos on those days and at that time. You have to also plan the build-up. You can create teasers to post on your other social media channels, and you can set up reminders for your subscribers and followers. Lastly, it is recommended that you automate your content calendar. You can do this by uploading your video when it's done and scheduling the launch for the right time. Use annotations as calls to action and links. YouTube allows you to include annotations in your videos. Annotations are pop-up elements that appear during playtime and that you can use to encourage viewers to take certain actions by clicking on them, such as watching another video, visiting someone else's channel, or visiting a landing page. You can add annotations through the video. 20. There is an almost unlimited number of videos that you can create and have success with on YouTube. As long as you create helpful content that is entertaining, you're set to make it big on YouTube. The thing is that not every type of video is going to be profitable, regardless of how many views they get you. What you want is to learn what type of videos are profitable. So let's talk about them. Educational videos. These are videos where you educate leads that are looking for information. This can be information about anything in your niche, about things that can help them find an answer to a question. You can use infographics and whiteboard animations for your educational videos, where your brand becomes the guide to the answer or class that you are providing. These videos are great for capturing leads that are at the top of the funnel, 
people that are simply researching stuff way before they're aware of your product. One strategy that you might want to apply is to not give out your whole content in one video. Instead, use your educational videos as intros to a larger content series that you can use to move viewers into the bottom of your funnel. For example, if you create a video as the first part of your series and invite viewers to download an ebook where you provide the rest of the info. Explainer videos. These are videos where you explain the solution to a problem. They're similar to educational videos, but they're more specific about explaining a means to an end, such as explaining how a product helps people to solve a problem, or how a tool helps people make more money. These videos can help you to capture leads at the top and in the middle of the funnel, because they can spark awareness among people at the top and create interest among people in the middle. The trick is to create videos that explain how the products or services that you sell can solve a given problem, to explain it quickly and in simple terms. Product videos. These are videos where you showcase your products or services. Most commonly, they are short videos that work as an introduction to your products, where brands explain what the product is all about. Please note that these are not adverts, and you shouldn't use them to focus on selling the product. What you'll do is to simply create a video where you clearly explain what your product or service is, how it works, and what type of problems it solves. You can use these videos to engage leads in the middle. While they won't necessarily help you to drive an immediate sale, they will help you to create interest and consideration, leading to a conversion down the line. Tutorials and Demos Video tutorials are videos where you explain to viewers how to do something from how to use an online tool to how to create a birdhouse. These how-to videos are incredibly effective when it comes to driving conversions because they encourage the user to learn how to complete a task or achieve an objective if they use the tool or product in the tutorial. Because of that, these are the type of videos that you are going to use to convert people in the last stages of your funnel. For example, you can create a tutorial video to teach people how to use a tool that you are promoting to create a website with integrated shopping cart in just a few minutes. Because you are providing a quick, easy solution to a problem that lots of people want to solve, you can drive lots of conversions from that video simply by inserting your affiliate link in the video description. Testimonials In these videos, you are going to feature testimonials of people providing feedback about your product. Normally, these are recordings of clients that have had a good experience with a brand, product, or service. What you have to do is to ask some of your customers to rate your product on camera and talk about how it has helped them to achieve results. Testimonial videos are the equivalent to reviews on a website, and they can help leads at the bottom of your funnel to make the final purchasing decision for businesses on YouTube. One of the things you'll hear from every successful hustler when he asks them what their secret is, they'll say diversification. Diversification means to create additional income streams to supplement your main hustle. In this case, your main hustle is YouTube. And it is a good idea to supplement your YouTube business strategies with additional streams. The following is a list of our favorites. Patreon. Patreon is a membership platform that allows creators to set up a membership program so they can monetize their content, and it is a favorite among creators on YouTube. With it, you can create a membership business through which your biggest fans are able to pay a fee to get access to your premium content. What this means is that you can use Patreon to set up a paywall for your best content. For example, you can create a premium video course that is not available on YouTube and that only Patreon subscribers can get. And in case you're not monetizing your YouTube content, you can create a subscription service where you send subscribers a different product monthly for a fee, and you can funnel viewers from YouTube to sign up to this service. Daily Motion. Daily Motion is a video streaming service that is similar to YouTube in look and feel, but that offers more relaxed guidelines and access to an international audience that you won't find on YouTube. Daily Motion has a partner program that lets you monetize your video content, and it's easy to apply. This means that you can join Daily Motion, join the partner program, 
and monetize your videos there too. Brid TV Brid TV is a scalable YouTube alternative with a great monetization solution and white label service for content creators. What makes Brid TV special is that it is a dedicated online video player platform. This means that it lets you host your videos on their platform, so you can then embed them on your site or anywhere else, and you can monetize your videos with different ad formats in those placements. Twitch Twitch is a live streaming platform. Perhaps the most popular streaming site of all, it has attracted former YouTube live streamers who have ended up moving their business there. Twitch is a great platform to stream live events, product demonstrations, and services live. It gives you a great opportunity to show what you do in real time. And it has a great partner program that lets you monetize your streams once you build a sizable follower count. Mixer Mixer is an interactive live streaming platform that offers a similar experience to that of Twitch. Held as the best Twitch alternative, it offers juicy monetization options such as membership programs, a partnership program, and access to verified channels for businesses that will help you take monetization to a new level. Facebook and Facebook for Creators There is no doubt that Facebook is still the king of social media platforms and one of the most active, most profitable sites on the planet. It is also a great platform to post your video content and make money off it. It works similar to YouTube in that you have to upload your videos and add your action URLs. But be careful. On Facebook, you have to directly upload the videos to the platform instead of sharing the YouTube video URL. The only bad news is that video content on Facebook doesn't have the same evergreen potential as on YouTube. So what you have to do is to create shorter videos and to share them on a more regular but equally consistent frequency. On the other hand, Facebook for Creators is a Facebook program that you can join to monetize your video content on Facebook, which is possible through ads, brand collaborations, and other built-in monetization tools. You can join the Facebook for Creators program at facebook.com forward slash creators. And don'ts. Do's. Plan everything. It is crucial that you plan everything you'll do with your YouTube business. From your next video to your upcoming product launch video campaign, it is important that you think about the results that you want to get before you execute. Be customer-centric. Your YouTube business content has to be customer-centric. This means that you have to create videos that make the viewer aware that you are selling a product or service and that help them make faster purchasing decisions. Be entertaining. Your message is going to resonate more with your audience if you entertain and educate at the same time. This ensures that viewers will remember your brand down the road. Be original. You have to work on creating a voice and feel that is unique for your brand, something that helps new viewers differentiate you from the competition and that cues repeat viewers into recognizing your unique brand identity. Be consistent. Make sure to stick to a content schedule. Release videos when people expect them. Share relevant stuff with your social media followers at specific times every day, and so on. Engage with your audience. Engaging with your audience is as important as creating quality content. Simply reply to comments, like interactions, and give shoutouts to active viewers and subscribers, and you'll keep your prospects happy. Engage with other YouTube businesses. It is highly recommended that you interact with other brands on YouTube. Find similar businesses to yours and comment on their videos. This will expose your brand to an untapped audience. Be visually attractive. Maintaining a clean professional image and neat production values will help you attract more viewers and keep existing ones coming back. A well-designed channel and videos are great for growth. Use calls to action. Always make clear what action you want a user to complete at any point in all of your videos, be it to visit a website, to watch an upcoming video, or to submit their info. Always ask your viewers to take action. Monitor your performance. Keep an eye on your performance by tracking the metrics that are relevant to your goals, such as view times, click-through rates, and conversions. Don'ts. Don't steal content. 
It is okay to reverse engineer and repurpose content by giving it a different angle. However, copying content from another creator or business and reusing it as your own will get you in trouble and damage your reputation. Don't mislead. Always create content that is consistent with your keywords. Never use keywords that attract traffic to the wrong type of video just because it adds more viewers to your counter. Don't spam. Never overpromote your offers and never spam your subscribers with notifications. Users won't buy anything just because you publish a product video every day. Don't try to go viral, at least not all the time. Going viral is sometimes a matter of luck and failed attempts can look desperate to your viewers. So, if you plan to make a video go viral, plan well and find assistance if possible. Don't try to become famous. Becoming a famous YouTuber is not the job of a YouTube business. To have a very large viewership, you have to create entertainment-centric videos with a very mainstream appeal. Instead, focus on growing your own limited niche audience. That's where your customers are at. Don't force sub for sub. There is no point on following random accounts if you run a YouTube business. So offering to subscribe to other channels if they subscribe to yours is a surefire way to grow a fake audience that will never buy from you. Don't disappear. If you have to take a break from YouTube for any reason, tell your subscribers and announce it on your channel. This way, people will know that you'll be back and won't think that you became inactive. Don't publish corporate stuff. Don't publish videos about your business or about very technical details of your service unless you do it in an entertaining way. For example, by publishing a behind-the-scenes or production bloopers video. Don't argue with others. Don't take criticism personal and never argue with users in the comments. Always reply with professionalism and ignore, even block, overtly toxic interactions. Don't overpublish. Avoid posting too many videos and avoid publishing and creating every video that pops into your mind. Simply keep your intended content schedule consistent and your YouTube business will be alright.